Okay, so with this video I will be showing you some of the, well basically how accurate the uh, ultrasonic uh, sensor is and um, just basically how you can visualize it as well, you know this is something that you don't often see is to incorporate a uh, uh, 3D visual uh, aspect to it, uh, it's not very complicated that I did, uh, I try to keep it as uh, simple as possible but um, okay so essentially let me first show you what the setup is um, you d uh, there's a servo motor that rotates 180 degrees on attached to that very crudely is a ultrasonic sensor um, as you can see it's a little bit skew not in the world the, uh, these wires got a little bit damaged during you know the time uh, during the mo uh, time we were moving and so forth so um, if the system goes down halfway between, it's most likely because the wires are just getting mixed up, uh, messed up. So, okay, along with that, that all just connects to Arduino, which controls, uh, obviously controls your logic for this motor to turn it, to get the data back from it. And you won't be able to see it right now, but there is basically a display. It's just being refreshed really quickly, um, just so that I can pass the information to the computer quickly. Um, but there's actually a display that will show the distance that's being read on this system. Now, the thing is to properly visualize it, we'll need more than, uh, definitely need more than this. Um, I mean, so basically you can get the distance that's specifically being read, and it is quite accurate. But, you know, if we want to really visualize it, the first thing that we want to do is basically take the information that we get from the um, uh, ultrasonic uh, distance visual, let's just say the distance, and the angle that we're measuring at those two things combined uh, then we can pass that on uh, to the computer to process so first of all let's just have a look at the data that it is pushing out as you can see the first the first column is the angle that we are look currently looking at and then the next three columns are the last three values being read so this is just so that we can determine an average um, uh, of a value. So if I put my hand really close, you can see uh, those values get really uh, well, will be j small. You know, obviously, like I said, it's the last three, so it will only be adjusted. As you can see, the set two columns are adjusted now, and the third one will also be very low when it gets uh, back, as you can see. But but anyways, so now it's this is a basic idea, but still, you know, to visualize it further, I mean, this is just normal looking at the serial output, and you know, it's, it, it doesn't tell you a lot. So let's see if we can visualize this using uh, um, a game development uh, tools. So you know, this is basically using Unity. So I'm uh, okay. The first thing, if you you can't open a port with two different software applications so we'll have to close this and then open the unity app so i'm going to stop this um, just so that we can open up the unity app so okay that's been closed uh, so okay then next up so then we've basically got a unity app um, running here at the bottom okay it's not yet started i'll quickly get it up and running so Okay, now, okay, this is basically what the camera sees. If you're looking directly in front, basically right over here, as you can see, my hand just affected it. But basically, if, if there's nothing in front, this is kind of what it sees. It's a, a kind of a random pattern. There might be some interference with it. Here and there, you'll see some dots close um, uh, close by for some reason. I believe it's just, you know, a reflection from other places. As you can see, they're quite random. But in general, it gives you the direction, right? Um, so if we just take a different view from this, we can get some more information. Um, let's just switch a view to a top view, um, zoom out a little bit, and then we can see it gets it gets all the information fairly in a, a nice um, a radial pattern, as you would pretty much expect. Now, first thing to do is a little test. Okay, so the code in involved with this is fairly simple. I'm just getting the value. And just putting a a, um, a box, uh, well, just basically a s square box without even colors or anything involved with it, um, just on the screen. And um, that's it in terms of code. I mean, I'll show you the code. I hope I've got the right screen here that I'll open. Um, 
Well, this is a basic code that's evolved. It's the unit here, as you can see. It's not very complicated. Here, opening the port, which port I'm op uh, using, uh, read the lines, uh, save it. I won't go into too much detail. And then, basically, uh, to draw the objects, this is the bit of code. So it's really, really simple. Um, so, okay, that's a Visual Studio uh, code. And... Um, then okay, obviously you've got the Arduino code as well. So the Arduino code is okay, it's uh, just a little bit more complicated because I'm displaying it to the screen as well. But if it wasn't for that, it's really just a matter of parsing this data um, and pushing it out. Uh, well, it's it's a little bit messy, but um, it's as you saw in the serial output, it's actually only displaying uh, you know, this line, you know, this green X. This, this little string over here. But it's okay, so the code is not that complicated. Um, so in terms of functionality, so let's just actually test this. If we take a battery, black battery, just put it over here, see how it reacts. Uh, you know, it's a little bit high for it, but as you can see, it's it does pick it up. But remember, this thing is angled quite, s uh, like I said, a little bit skew. I'll open up the Unity app, so as you can see, um, right over here, it's picking up a the battery. So these blocks are all the batteries basically. Uh, if we just keep on the camera. So I'm going to move the battery a little bit backwards. So as you can see, the further away it goes, the more radial it is. Um, it is actually picking my screen up on the left hand side over here. That's actually uh, another object so it's uh, acting correctly and let's just take something bigger this uh, I didn't I haven't tested but let's just put that over there as you can see halfway between us it's already being affected and well now we've got a proper s drawing of what's going on so I mean <laughs> yeah let's turn it this way So again, and just to put it quite far away, we can even, uh, well, that's not going to make a difference. We'll, we'll put a gap in, see how well it picks that up. So it's probably a little bit far because it's at an angle. So you can definitely see the battery and the other component as well. I'll just move this a little bit closer. There's a little bit of a gap between them, so as you can see, it picks up that gap and draws it quite uh, quite accurately. So, I mean, yes, you'll have to incorporate some tolerance, um, uh, you know, to because as you can see, there are some points where it's getting that are obviously not. There's nothing in in between over here um, that should be affecting this at all. I mean, this is a clear space over here, and yet, if you look at the dots, it shows there are some dots close by. So I assume it's just a, a, an ultrasonic um, sound bouncing off back and being reflected back, and basic just basic interference with that. Um, but essentially, so this was sh this demonstrates how you can incorporate the 3D aspect to it. I mean, obviously, you can make this quite uh, quite cool. But um, I didn't put a lot, of, a lot of effort into this. This was literally half an hour's worth of work or so to, to get this done. And, um, you know, these could all have been better models and uh, more accurate and etc. So, anyways, um, well, I'll just do a... No, I don't think... Well, anyways, I'll leave it. I'll do another tutorial or something uh, another time on this. Sure. Thank you for watching.